Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I am Rashmi. Today I am making chana masala or chickpeas curry. It also known as chole or garbanzo bean curry. It is a very popular dish. You can have it with any kind of rice dishes or any kind of bread. So let's take a look for the ingredients. To make this chana masala, I have 2 cups of boiled chickpeas or the garbanzo beans, 2 medium size of tomatoes, 1 tablespoon ginger chopped, 1 green chili chopped, 3 to 4 tablespoon of oil, 2 pinches of hing, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 2 to 4 cardamom pods, 2 to 5 bay leaves, 2 teaspoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of red chili powder, salt to taste, 2 tablespoon of chopped green coriander leaves and chopped tomatoes or onions to garnish. I just turned on the heat and uh, I will add the oil into the pan. and let it heat. I took about one cup of dry chickpeas and soaked overnight and after that I just boiled it into the salty water and I just made the tomato puree and I added the ginger and the green chili when I made the puree and I think now the oil is hot enough so I will check the oil is hot enough or not just to add the two or four cumin seeds and now the oil is hot enough so I will add the cumin seeds in there and hing And I will just open the cardamom pods and add in there and the bay leaves and now I will add the turmeric powder coriander powder and red chili powder and now I will add the tomato puree in there. And now I will let it cook for about 2 minutes. And now you see tomato puree is leaving the oil. It means it's almost cooked. And now I will add the boiled garbanzo in there. and mix it well and now I will add little bit of salt in there I already boiled the garbanzo beans into the salty water but still I added the little bit more salt in there and now I will just press some of the garbanzos on the sides just to make it little bit creamy just some of them not all of them and now I will just cover it and let it cook for about 5 minutes on low heat 
and now after five minutes I will check it's really good it is done and now I will add the coriander leaves and I will save some of the coriander leaves to garnish and now I will turn off the heat and cover it and let it stand for about two to three minutes and now after two minutes I will check how it is it looks so yummy so beautiful you can see this now I will serve this into the serving bowl And now chana masala curry is ready to eat. Serve hot with puris, parathas or the bhaturas or any kind of rice dishes. Enjoy it and thanks for watching. See you next time with the new recipe.